I joined the British Army in 2020. Um, I was 12 months out of university. No one told me about this, um, so I did my research through the Army website. I found that this was an option. I joined as a biomedical scientist. Uh, one of our main roles within the military is blood supply. And we provide blood support for operations everywhere in the world. So what we do is a diagnosis and make sure that whatever treatment they're getting is actually effective. But we do that both for the NHS here and we do it in the military when deployed. I feel this job role makes a huge difference to the lives of everyone in defence. Going through the whole of my school, high school and sixth form, I always uh, really enjoyed being in the laboratories. Um, I did A-levels in mathematics, biology, chemistry and physics. Um, so I very much enjoyed science, enjoyed being in the lab and enjoyed the analytical process. Um, so I wanted to continue the, doing that. So I chose to do my degree in biomedical science. Um, and then before I did my degree, I looked at the army as an option. Um, and I just, I liked the diversity that the job offers compared to the NHS role. So I did my research um, through the army website. I found that this was an option um, before I went to university. That solidified my choice in my, my degree that I chose to do. It's a nice job. I really enjoy it. It's everything that I wanted it to be when I first applied. Our NHS counterparts are normally single discipline, so they'll spend the majority of their career focused in one specific area, so hematology, biochemistry, microbiology, um, transfusion or histology. Um, whereas the military allows me to be multidisciplinary, so we do biochemistry, microbiology, hematology and transfusion, um, whereas you wouldn't get that opportunity normally job role is to provide pathology services to defence um, and in, when we're here to the NHS. Uh, pathology services basically cover any sample that is taken from a patient, gets sent down to a biomedical scientist in a pathology lab uh, and they analyse it using various techniques, various equipment um, to give the clinicians more information um, that will aid them in diagnosis or aid them in treatment. Our kit in the military differs significantly from what we use in the NHS. The NHS use massive automated analyzers and track systems, whereas in the military we use a lot smaller analyzers, no track system. Um, we still do quite a few things manually, whereas the NHS do them uh, with automated systems. It's all to help the patient. So what we do is a diagnosis and make sure that whatever treatment they're getting is actually effective. Um, but we do that both for the NHS here and we do it in the military when deployed. We do deploy a fair bit, mainly because if a field hospital goes out, if it has a surgical capability, it needs a BMS as to support. Uh, one of our main roles within the military is blood supply. Um, so we have the Centre of Defence Pathology here, so there are BMSs working there. So we do the logistics side and we also do on the ground, um, if they have one of us, any transfusions that they do, we'll do the cross matching uh, for every unit that they transfuse. All the blood that is shipped to anywhere in the world, it all comes through uh, the Centre of Defence Pathology and we'll arrange transport from um, NHBT in Birmingham um, to a basically anywhere in the world. Uh, without biomedical scientists, there would be no blood support to operations um, and there would be no pathology services on operations or in firm base. Um, I think this job role makes a huge difference to the lives of everyone in defence. Joined the army when I was 17, straight after school. I really enjoy the different aspects of an operating department practitioner, 
particularly being on the scrub side, where you get to see different surgeries from hip replacements to knee replacements, but more technical. As an operating park practitioner, at the end of the day, it is rewarding because you're enabling the surgeons who need to do their job.